What's up guys, it's the Cheapster and I'm back with another Grubhub video. Um, so I haven't actually done a video in a while and that's because I was actually just in Ohio working Grubhub. So if you don't know the full story about me and working with Grubhub, uh, what actually happened is I worked in Ohio for a long time. I worked there for about a year and a half and then just about a year and a half ago, I moved uh, to South Carolina and I wanted to change my region. And actually I tried to get on top of this before I ever moved and I tried to uh, let them know that I wanted to change my region. So I gave them about two month notice before I was like gonna be moving. So I was trying to see if I could get it changed and get it all set up so I knew I could work when I got down here. So I started out trying to go through that process. Uh, and I think that was just very early 2019, trying to get my region changed. And I figured, you know, this is just gonna be a pretty simple thing. All I really wanna do is have them change my region. It really shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, because I knew they had grub up there. I figured there may be kind of a little bit of a waiting list where they might say, you know, we have people in front of you who are trying to sign up for that city because it's not maybe big enough. Um, and I would have to wait just a little bit of time before they would approve me. Kind of expected that. Uh, but what I didn't expect is what actually happened. And what actually happened was I could just not get a hold of people. I really could not get a hold of people to change my region. And everything I looked into said, you just want to contact your driver specialist and they would talk to you and go ahead and get it changed. I watched some other videos on YouTube. I read a bunch of stuff in forums about other people who had their regions changed and they just said, you know, pretty much it turned into the driver specialist contacted them um, and then they were able to get it changed. Well, that was not the case for me. I don't know why it was so difficult. Um, my driver specialist would not answer me for Ohio. And I was told, you know, you should contact the driver specialist for the city you're trying to work in. I had no idea how to even find the uh, email or phone number to contact them. I searched forever trying to find it, couldn't find it. Eventually, I finally got in contact with somebody with Ohio um, that put me in contact with the specialist in Greenville, South Carolina, which was where I was trying to work. Um, and they said yes, that they would get all looked into and that I would be put on a waiting list. So I said, okay, so I figured I would just wait to hear. Well, time kept passing and I didn't hear anything back after I think like three months. And then I decided, you know, I've got to look back into this. So I kept trying to contact my old driver specialist in Ohio. And in that, that time, the driver specialist just kept changing on me. Like the person who was working it, I don't know if they were getting fired or what, probably because they weren't doing their job well. Uh, they were not answering me. Um, so it just kept changing. And these people just would not answer me. Uh, to get back to me about changing my region. And this person who promised, I told them the whole story, the uh, person from South Carolina told them the whole story about what I needed and like what I had been through. I just wanted to change my region. That's all it was. And you know, they had promised me, oh yes, I'm really sorry you've been through all that. And we're going to go ahead and get it changed. Don't worry. This is not a big deal. So I believed all that. The whole way I believed that, yes, these regions were changing. And um, I've been like a big proponent for Grubhub, working for Grubhub. I think it's a good company to work for. But I've always said truthfully that the worst part about working for them has been the back end, dealing with driver specialists, dealing with all these kind of problems. Because, I mean, it just took forever for me to get my region changed. But I do want to say today, I finally was able to get my region changed. So it has been a year and a half trying to change my region. Um, I don't think most people have had that bad of an experience, but for some reason, that's the experience I had. So it's just been terrible. But I want to tell you guys how I was able to change my region working for Grubhub because they've actually changed a lot of things when it comes to the customer service and a lot of the support stuff, which I think to me is a very positive change. Um, and I think the biggest thing that they've changed so far right now is that the old driver specialist system where it used to be uh, you had your driver specialist for your city and that was a person you contact. They're kind of like your manager that is just thrown out the window now where now it's just a customer service base for Grubhub, which honestly, you know, I would think that doing the whole per region driver specialist stuff thing should actually work better, but I think it didn't. I think all it did was make things more confusing and just made things kind of get lost in the chain of command going up to fix things. And now it's one cohesive customer service that you go to as a driver of Grubhub. So I think actually I've seen that it's working better than what uh, they used to have. So let me go ahead and take you guys through this. What they've done now is they've actually created a form to change your region, which makes a ton of sense that they would just have a form that you fill out to change your region. Um, and that has just changed everything. So it was so simple for me when I finally filled out this form. Somebody contacted me within 24 hours saying that they were changing my region, which just it blew my mind because I was like, I have waited a year and a half to try to change my region. And it just took 
24 hours to finally fill out this form and get somebody's attention on it. So this is uh, the link you're gonna wanna go to. I'll link this down in the description. So this is to submit a request. Um, so all you do is put in your email address. Uh, you wanna select a topic. So what you wanna select is um, if you are already a, a GrubHub delivery partner and you wanna change it, click I am a GrubHub delivery partner. Then once you click that, you'll see change my market. So that's what you wanna click is to change your market. Uh, and this is where you can actually answer what you were doing. So are you moving? Uh, is your market that you wanted waitlisted? You prefer a different neighborhood market? Or if you're going out of town for more than a month? Um, so I didn't actually know that this was something that you could do. And this would be really cool, I guess, if they're allowing this. So you could work in a different market if you're going to be gone. So that would work really well if you're you know, a college student and you're only at college for certain times and then go home for the summer or Christmas break and all that kind of stuff. Or right now, who knows how long you'll be home, but this would be good for um, being able to switch your region if you do live in different regions throughout the year for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, I just put I'm moving. Then you just put um, your sign in email, your current market, your phone number, uh, the new market name and zip code, uh, your new address and all that kind of stuff. And then you fill out a few things like your driver's license and your proof of insurance, because this stuff will probably change. If you're changing states, they'll need to see uh, your new information on that. Uh, and then you can just provide details. So you can explain that you're moving or whatever the reason is. Um, and then subject, I put something like, please help, but it's been a year and a half. And that apparently got people's attention. So you can fill out whatever you want here and just send that in. So it's as simple as that now. Like I said, it blows my mind that it took me so much work to try to get this changed. And all it took was them changing to this new system of customer service, adding this form. And within 24 hours, I am now able to work in the city I live in finally. So uh, I just figured I'd throw up a video about this for you guys. So if you want to change your region, hopefully if anyone else has had any difficulties trying to do this, I know how frustrating it was before. Hopefully this helps you out so much where you can just fill out this form and you can get uh, put in your new region. Now you may actually have a wait list. That could be a possibility on this um, where you will get waitlisted in the city and you may have to wait a little bit, but it's pretty much just simple. You just need to fill out this form and that's really all there is to it. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys. And if you liked the video, you can go ahead and do the cheapest thing you can today. And that is to tap that like button and also subscribe to my channel. I do a video usually every week on entrepreneurship, a lot of stuff about Grubhub, uh, different things like that. And then I do other videos that are just fun videos for YouTube. So check me out and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay cheap. Don't have it subscribed. Oh my god.